solve the assignment problem using Hungarian method. Find the processing time using job and men. So, our question is that the assignment problem is Hungarian method to solve and the processing time using jobs and men. So, you can see here job 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and men A, B, C, D, E. So, we have a matrix here. We have to check how many rows are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and column is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, row is equal to column. That means this problem is a balanced problem. Okay. Then our first step one is subtract the lowest element in the row. So the lowest element is in the first row is 9. In second row the lowest element is 43. In third row the lowest element is 28. In fourth row the lowest element is 27. And in fifth row, the lowest element is 11. So 9 minus 9 is 0, 22 minus 9 is 30, so on. 58 minus 9 is 49, 11 minus 9 is 2, 10. Second, we will repeat the process. 43 minus 43 is 0, 78 minus 43 is 35, 29 is 7, 20. In third row, the lowest element is 28. So 41 minus 28 is 13, 28 minus 28 is 0, 63, 9, 17. In fourth row, the lowest element is 27. So 74 minus 27, 47. 42 minus 27, 15. 27 minus 27, 0. 22, 12. In fifth row, the lowest element is 11. So 36 minus 11, 25. 11 minus 11, 0. 46, 11, and 4. So here, the second step is subtract the lowest element in column. Now, in first column, the lowest element is 0. So, this row will be as it is. Sorry, this column will be as it is. Then, in second column, the lowest element is 0. Similarly, in third column, the lowest element is 0. So, first three columns will be as it is. 0, 0, 13, 47, 25. 13, 35, 0, 15, 0. Similarly, 49, 29, 63, 0, 46. Now, in fourth column, the lowest element is 2. And in, in fifth column, the lowest element is 10. So, 0, 5, 7, 29. Then 10 minus 10, 0. 20 minus 10, 10. 17 minus 10, 7, 12 minus 10, 2, 14 minus 10, 4. So, now we'll do the assignment. As in our first previous five problems, I have written the process of the assignment. Find the single zero in, in row. So, there is no single zero in first row. Second row, there is a single zero. Mark the call, mark in the square box and check in a column cross the zero similarly in third there is a single zero third row there is a single zero so mark the zero and cancel the zero in column fourth row there is a single zero okay now fifth row there is no zero. Now we'll doing a column assignment. So first column it is the assignment is already done. So in fourth column mark the single zero in box and cancel the zero in row. So the matrix is five and the assignment is one, two, three, four. So five is greater than 4. So this assignment is not a balanced assignment. So we have rules here. First, select the row which is not assigned. So you can see 1, 2, 3, 4. So the fifth row is not assigned. Assigned means it should be, the 0 should be covered in a box. So this fifth row is not assigned. So I will just tick it. Okay, not assigned. Tick it. Okay. 
check the row which you have tick has a cross zero so this row i have tick i will check this has a cross zero yes it has a cross zero so mark the column so i'll be marking the column so i'm marking the column the third is check the column you have assigned so you have tick assign the zero mark the assigned row okay so you need to check the column you have tick as a assigned zero so this is the column i have tick as an assigned zero here so mark the row so i have marked the assigned zero row you can see here i have marked the assigned zero row. then select the untick row and cancel it so this is untick row i will be cancelling it one this is second this is third then select the tick column and cancel it so this is the tick column i will cancel it now i have drawn the same here on the next paper so that we can we can do the second rule so what are the rules here after cancelling we get the covered elements covered elements means which has been crossed by the lines and uncovered elements so select the uncovered element and subtract so select the element uncovered element and subtract with lowest element so we'll check lowest element 13 63 77 25 46 9 4 so four is the lowest element then keep the value or element as it is on a cancel line so this is a cancel line so we'll keep the value as it is add the lowest element in the at intersection so jaha bhi intersection rahega where there will be intersection you need to add the lowest element okay so this is a cancel line zero okay you can see here this point is a intersection point okay this point is a intersection point and this point is the intersection point so 13 plus 4 here i will write 17 okay now this covered elements will be written as it is 0 and 0 then the zero will be written as it is this is intersection so this will be 35 plus 4 39 29 5 6 then this is uncovered element so uncovered element subtract with the lowest 13 minus 4 9 0 will be as it is as it is on a covered line 63 minus 9 59 7 minus sorry 63 minus 4 59 7 minus 4 it will be 3 same 3 47 is on covered line 15 is on intersection so it will be 15 plus 4 19 0 will be as it is 22 so 25 minus 4 it is 21 0 46 minus 4 42 9 minus 4 5 4 minus 4 0 now we will do the assignment so the row assignment select the single zero in a box and cancel the zero in column so first single zero we have not find it on the second row we have to find the single zero so i have marked the single zero and cancel the zero in column now in third row i have find the single zero so this is the single zero and i have cancel the row I have cancelled the column zero. Then in fourth row, 
I find the single zero and there is no zero in a column. Now in fifth row, there is a single zero in a row and cancel the zero in column. Now we will do the column assignment. First column is done, second, third, fourth will automatically get. Now you can see 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. That means n is equal to 5 equal to 5. That means matrix is equal to assign. Assignment. Okay. Now this question I have written again. So this job, this is the job and this is the men. So job 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and men 1, D, it will be D, second A, you can see here A, for third it is B, for fourth it is C, for fifth it is E, so we need to check the value, for 1, D, this is the value is 11. I will be writing here 11. Then for second, A, A value is 43, B value is 28, then C value is 27, and E value is 25. So when we will be doing this total, it will be 134 so the processing time is 134 hours